as it gets stranded on the planet, and what are basically small black PlayStation 5s are brainwashing people. The man decides he doesn't like that though, so he leaves. Isaac awakes in a space insane asylum. Turns out, they have a PlayStation problem there too. Isaac then meets Ellie, and then meets Straw, which is also a man. Straw wants to listen to what the PlayStations are trying to whisper to him, so he goes to poke Isaac's eye. Isaac doesn't like that, so he pokes his eye. Straw is vanquished. Isaac then gets his eye poked anyway, which gives him special connection to the PlayStations. He then breaks the PlayStations using only his brain, and afterwards he escapes with Ellie, and they decide they will be kissing. Isaac then tries to live a normal life, until Norton comes into his room and drags him back to the PlayStation. He then finds out that Norton is kissy with Ellie now, and then Isaac kills Norton, leaving the world with viruses. And Ellie was sad because her old kissy killed her new kissy, but soon enough, she became kissy with Isaac again. Isaac then attempts to break some PlayStations, but a man named Danny DeVito worships the PlayStations and thinks it's a bit insensitive for him to do so. Trying to convince him not to kill his god, he calls Isaac. Isaac then tells him to lose his number, and this frustrates Danny. However, it turns out that the PlayStations are at the real threat. It's these balls in the sky called moons. So Isaac then goes to destroy the sky balls with a tube. But a guy named Carver grabs the tube and gives it to Danny DeVito. The tube becomes bad, and everything starts falling apart. Isaac then convinces Ellie to go, leaving him behind, so he can save the world from the bad tube. He then fixes the tube problem. Or at least, he thought he did. Carver slaps Isaac, and they finally fix the tube problem. But the moons. And that just about wraps up the full trilogy of Vanquish Space.